here in this uh, video section i will discuss about the transverse nature of the electromagnetic waves how to prove it for an example the electric field component is along the y direction and a wave propagates into the x direction so here you can see that these are the electric field component that vibrates along the y direction these are the electric field component right here you can see so it can be written as e as a function of x and t in second is the magnetic field component along the z direction along this direction so uh, these are magnetic field component magnetic field components uh, vibrate along the z direction while electric field component are vibrating along the y direction and wave is propagating along the x axis about so these are the magnetic field components so here b is function of x and t so this can be written as further this e mathematically this is just for the physical representation and here mathematically when we use this concept that can be written as e y as a function of x t so it basically give the hint that electric field component is along the y direction and be propagating along the x axis so this is the electromagnetic wave nature uh, in which you see that electric field component is this one along the y axis e y this is b z and wave is propagating along the x axis so here we have to prove that this electric field component is perpendicular to the direction of propagation and also to the magnetic field these two component also perpendicular to each other so there are three things number 1 electric field component electric field components are perpendicular to the direction of propagation and direction of propagation is x axis similarly for the magnetic field component magnetic field component also perpendicular to the direction of propagation and number 3 both electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other and also to the direction of propagation right and this we have to prove this is the physical picture we have and the supporting physical concepts are supporting physical concept given below number 1 the concept of e and b number 2 the divergence form divergence of e 
and divergence of B and from this k dot b is equal to 0 its meaning or you can say wave vector k is equal to 2 pi by lambda right so the main concept basically we have to use this one the divergence of the electric field and divergence of the magnetic field E we are writing here in terms of the R and T that is equal to E naught vector E iota K dot R minus omega T so this is the number 4 so now is using of Maxwell equation divergence of E is equal to 0 and divergence of B is equal to 0 for free space right so for that E here we have considered as RT is equal to E naught E iota K dot R minus omega T is the wave in three dimensional space here E naught vector means component of E O along the x axis i plus E O y j plus E O z k k dot r k is the wave vector can be written as k x i plus k y j plus k z k and vector r is equal to x i plus y j plus z k these i j k are unit vectors and k here is the wave vector r is simply the radius vector e naught is the in terms of the component so divergence of p the first one can be written as del operator as you know can be written as del upon del x i plus del upon del y j plus del upon del z k so del e is equal to del upon del x i plus del upon del y j plus upon del z k this vector correspond to the del operator and the scalar product between e naught vector e i k dot r minus omega t so we have to find out the mathematical result of this equation of divergence so that can be written as del dot e is equal to del upon del x i plus del upon del y j plus del upon del y k dot this is dot e naught x i plus e naught y j plus e naught z k and the exponential vector e iota k x x plus 
के वाई वाई प्लस के जेड जेड माइनस ओमेगा टी दिस इज द एक्सपोनेंशियल फैक्टर एंड वी हैव एक्सपेंड द के डोट आर प्रोडक्ट ही राइट एज वी हैव यूज के एंड आर सो फर्दर वी कैन राइट आई डोट आई इज इक्वल टू वन फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट एंड अलोंग विद दिस फैक्टर सो डेल अपॉन डेल एक्स E नोट X E आयोटा K X X प्लस K Y Y प्लस K Z Z माइनस ओमेगा T दिस इज वन ट्रम अलोंग विद दिस एंड नाउ द सेकेंड ट्रम विद दिस फैक्टर एंड विद दिस the scalar product between these two and that will be del upon del y e not y term this y e factor this complete as it is iota k x x plus k y y plus k z z minus omega t this is second term and the third term with this this k along with this k k dot k is equal to 1 so this third term so del and the here plus plus del upon del z e not z exponential term iota k x x plus k y y plus k z z minus omega t so now these are three terms and the result of the first term this is first term second term and this is third term so now you are differentiating this complete with respect to x so this is the constant component and here it will the di it will depend so when you will different differentiate this vector so this is kx x so you will get iota kx so from the first term the differentiation of the first term you, you are getting e not x as it is iota kx from here and then after this term as it is so from the second term you will get this e o y that is constant as it is and e iota k y y it will differentiate actually so you will get iota k y in multiplication factor iota k y and then after this exponential term as it is so now the third one with respect to z e o z as it is and differentiation of this exponential term with respect to z so this term kz and i out in multiplication factor and rest of the exponential term as it is that term we have to take common from all these three th terms and that is e i out k x x plus k y y plus k z z minus omega t so now we have this result so divergence of e is equal to iota you are taking common you are getting kx e not x plus ky e not y plus kz e not z and this exponential term iota kx x plus ky y plus k z z minus omega t right and this further and this result so we are this is the scalar product between the k and e not so this is the is k and e not where e not is the 
in terms of this component x y z and here uh, is this you know is k dot r so by simplifying this now this can be written as iota k dot e not e iota k dot r minus omega t is equal to this further can be written as iota k together dot e not exponential part iota k dot r minus omega t and you know this vector is vector e so this can be written as iota vector k dot vector e this is divergence of e so this is the required result here and further from maxwell equation we know that divergence of e is equal to 0 so from this equation iota iota k dot e is equal to 0 so either this i is equal to 0 or this vector is equal to 0 we can say this one i cannot be 0 so k dot e may be 0 so k dot e is equal to 0 right so now what is the conclusion of this equation you know that electric field component is vibrating perpendicular to the direction of propagation this is direction of propagation this is y direction this one was the z direction and these are electric field component right so electric field component are vibrating perpendicular to the direction of propagation direction of propagation is represented by the wave vector k so these are e perpendicular to the k right these are e component x and t in one dimensional case so wave vector is along this x direction and wave vec this electric field is perpendicular so when we are getting this result k dot e is equal to 0 it means theta is equal to 90 that signifies electric field component r perpendicular to the direction of propagation for this is true for the electric field component same uh, we can find out for the magnetic field component and then also k dot b will be equal to zero that signifies electric field and magnetic field both are perpendicular to the direction of propagation